Welcome to our third video tutorial. The tutorial is meant to deepen the crucial activities developed in the last steps of Pandora Box in Italy. The video is linked to the handbook. We decided to realize this video with a graphic facilitation, a tool developed in the different steps of the project. We hope this tool will facilitate to understand the activities. The activities we want to propose you are the garden, albatross, the cafeteria and open space, strip cartoons and social theater, and Tibetan bridge. So, let's go! The aim of this activity is to share within the group the expectations and contribution of each participant. Step 1. Trainers prepare a flip chart where it is drawn a garden like this. Step 2. Each participant receives a post-it. One post-it with the shape of a sun ray represents the contributions. Another post-it with the shape of a seed represents the expectations. Step 3. Each participant write his own expectations in the seed. During the days of the training course, the expectation will grow, like our friends are doing now. The seed is growing, but maybe it will stop growing, or maybe it will even die. The sun rays are the contributions, and so the energy that these seeds need for growing. The training. The garden gives a general overview of participant process within the training. The aim of this activity is to reflect on prejudices and stereotypes that appear while meeting a new culture and to reflect on intercultural learning. The activity is divided in two steps. First, ceremonial performing. Each participant is led in a room. Males are sitting on chairs. Females are sitting on carpet. There are three sounds to communicate. S for disapproval, for approval, and in order to get attention. The ceremony starts with greetings, male to male, female to female, in different ways. Ceremony continues with other steps, taking in account that the rituals change from male to female participant. The steps are the bowl of water, the food offer, the drink offer, and the poses until arriving to the last step, female selection and goodbye greetings. But it isn't finished yet. Second step, realize a debriefing in plenary and an extended discussion to help participants reflect on what they observed and how they feel. After that, facilitators present the main aspect of Albatrossian culture as it is described in the handout with the Albatross Activity Culture Explanation that you can find in the toolkit. After this, the debriefing continues, reflecting on prejudices, stereotypes and gender role models. Achtung! Please remind that this activity can be sensitive to some participants. We recommend facilitators to run it only if experienced in international groups and simulation management. The cafeteria is meant to collect ideas and opinions regarding the topic in a more easy atmosphere, like a bar 
where facilitators are the waiters serving coffee and tea, and participants' costumers that, sitting on tables, share their own visions, answering to questions provided in advance. After cafeteria, participants have a break, in which facilitators collect in six macrotopics the opinions shared, creating the base for the second activity, the open space. In plenary are presented the six macrotopics developed at the end of the previous activity. To each topic is assigned a facilitator from the group of participants. In the open space technique, the main pillars are 1. Topics have to be proposed by participants in a bottom-up approach. 2. Tables are self-organized. The participants themselves are the facilitators of the tables. 3. There is the possibility to move from a table to another table. When the participant feels that the discussion is expired or when it's interest to listen to other topics, he or she can move forward. The main rules to follow are 1. Two steps. Move to another discussion when you feel. 2. You are the right person, even if you remain alone in your table. 3. Time, it's time. Keep attention to the time you have at disposal and respect it. 4. Butterflies and bees. In a group, you can be in silence and listen, like a bee, as also you can speak and share your opinion, as a little butterfly. Script Cartoons is a role-play activity which follows the conflict explosion model. The model shows us how a conflict develops. The main steps are origins of conflict, real causes, conflict extension, arriving to the explosion of the conflict. To realize the strip cartoons, you have to divide participants in little groups, giving them time and assignment to replicate in, the, in three passages the conflict explosion. The rules to follow are 1. Participants have to pose like a photo shooting for three frames. 2. Participants in each group have to be in the scene. 3. One of the participants have to be the narrator, explaining the backgrounds and giving the time by clapping the hands. Two mushrooms of different colors meet. A mushroom insults the other mushroom because of his color. The other mushroom get angry and they start to fight. In the end of each story, the group stay on the stage and analyze the situation with a focus on actors and causes. Important! In this activity, participants shouldn't think of possible solutions, which will be analyzed in the activity Social Theatre. In the Social Theatre, we analyze through two or three stories the conflict management. Story 1. Facilitators, as actors, act one story of conflict explosion without ending in a finding a good solution. Who wants from the group of participants can enter the stage and take the role of secondary character, trying to act in a way to better resolve the conflict. Each time the story ends, there is a debriefing focusing on what changed in the conflict thanks to participants' contribution. Story 2. Like before, facilitator act a conflict, but in this case two participants can enter and one can take the role of the oppressed. After this, another debriefing. The activity ends with a general debriefing on how to manage conflict and about the methodology. This activity is meant to be focused on group dynamics. It's made in different steps. Steps 1. Participants are divided in groups of maximum 6 people each. 2. Facilitators show how to do a good knot in order to be safe 
that can support the weight of each participant. Step 3. If facilitators feel that it's okay for the group, they can give some impairments such as blindfolding, tying hands, and so on. Step 4. Participants receive the task to create the best bridge ever, but functional and safe, like this one. 5. Each group, rotating, tests the bridge of the other. Step 6. There is a general debriefing focusing on group dynamics.